some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to the 53rd Circuit Court in Presteel County, Michigan, with Judge Aaron Galvia. And he has had enough of a soft hard's word salad, to say the least, and he lays down the law with her. It is such a beautiful thing to behold. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, good morning, Ms. Christensen, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, good morning. We are back on the record in the 53rd Circuit Court for the County of Presqu'ile. <clears throat> Our next case on the docket is People of the State of Michigan versus Angela Marie Christensen. It's filed 21-93185-FH. We have Ms. Christensen attending by Zoom representing yourself. Well, you know what they say, a person who represents themselves in a court of law has a fool for a client. And well, this fool is a soft tart, so those two do go hand in hand. So with that in mind, I bet you're wondering what kind of um arguments this soft tart has. I mean, it got to be something unique, so let's continue on with the show. And the prosecuting attorney, Mr. Radzibon, is here in the courtroom. We are providing public access both in the courtroom and online. And uh, Ms. Christensen, although you're appearing from your home, uh, for convenience sake, it might not feel like a court hearing, but it is a court hearing. So I'm going to ask you to please remove your, your hat. Oh, sorry. No worries. Okay, thank you. All right, so <clears throat> as we begin the hearing... Um, just like last time, I'm required each time to remind you that you do have the right to the assistance of a lawyer, if you wish. And um, <clears throat> that includes the right to a lawyer at public expense, if you uh, were indigent, and that you've previously waived that right and wish to represent yourself. And so I guess I want to ask you again, do you uh, reaffirm that you'd like to represent yourself in this matter, or would you like to have a lawyer? No, I would like to self-govern, and I stand on my paperwork. Okay, that's an interesting way to go. If you're a self-governing entity, then why the hell are you even filing paperwork, and why the hell are you even coming to court to begin with? Wouldn't that weaken your position overall? Okay, so <clears throat> what we have today, you did file um, four written notices that asked for some type of relief. And we had adjourned the hearing to today uh, for any argument on that. So the prosecutor has, has had a chance to review them. So Ms. Christensen, um, you say that you stand by the paperwork and that's fine. I do have the paperwork in front of me. Is there any, is there any argument that you'd want to make uh, on your behalf right now to me in support of those claims? Or do you wish to just... Uh, rely on the, on the written pleadings you file. It is my wish to stand on my paperwork. Okay. Mr. Radzibon, do the people have any argument in opposition to those four notices? Your Honor, I've reviewed the paperwork and I guess while she may not recognize or honor the state of the law, I, I don't believe that there's any relief that's recognized under law that would allow you to dismiss these, this case against her based on what she's alleged in the paperwork. I just don't feel to see it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, Ms. Christensen, now I'm going to make a ruling on the, on the uh, notices, which I'm construing as some motion or request for relief. You know, if your filings don't make sense to the judge, that should be a huge indicator that your filings are absolute hot garbage. But then again, this is a sovereign citizen we're talking about, someone who is not exactly versed in the abilities to file legal documents. So it would be very much understandable that she didn't know what the hell she was doing, which is why you always want to hire somebody 
with experience, say a defense attorney. Duh! And uh, I've got a, a written order that I'll enter. I'll, I'll read it at this point. Defendant, who at this point in the case is representing herself, has filed four handwritten notices. These notices appear to seek relief in one form or another. As to the first notice, defendant asserts that she is a woman and not a defendant. Um, wow, that is, well, stupid to say the least, considering, well, yes, you are a woman. That's a sense of who you are throughout your life. And then you've got the position of defendant, which is really only applicable for the courtroom. So, yeah, we've got a real legal genius here. Wow. The court finds that Angela Christensen is both a woman and a defendant in this criminal action. <laughs> to the extent her notice seeks relief, such relief is denied. As to the second notice, defendant demands that any man or woman with a claim against her appear and present such claim in open court. To the extent that this notice seeks to invoke defendant's right to confront her accusers, this court will enforce that right. However, the right of confrontation does not require the complaining witnesses to appear at all pretrial hearings, but only the trial or any necessary evidentiary hearings. So to the extent that this notice seeks to require the appearance of any complaining witnesses at all pretrial hearings, such relief is denied. <laughs> yeah, it's becoming more and more evident that you definitely need help. I mean, that's just basic court proceedings right there. I mean, come on now. As to the third notice, defendant asserts that this court lacks authority over her and that only her creator has that authority. Without gainsaying the authority of the creator, it can be noted that religious traditions commonly recognize that the creator has instituted human authority as well. In this matter, the people of the state of Michigan, through ratifying the 1963 state constitution, as well as its predecessor constitutions, have established this court and its authority. The people of the state of Michigan, through their elected representatives, have established laws that apply in this court. And the people of this county have elected this judge to serve in this office. And this court has subject matter over this felony prosecution and has personal jurisdiction over this defendant. Any relief sought by this notice is denied. Yeah, using such simplistic arguments doesn't really work considering they've been around for centuries and bound to have been rebutted at some time or another, which basically means you got to do your research and come up with better arguments. But then again, that's way too much work for any sovereign citizen to do. Meanwhile, judges and lawyers spend their lives learning to uh, argue and rebut arguments. So your little argument right there just was like a bug on a windshield. It didn't stand a chance. And as to the fourth notice, defendant claims that this court and the government exist only because she allows them to exist. To the extent that this assertion reiterates the proposition that our constitutional republic is founded on the consent of the governed, such proposition is axiomatic as a general matter. However, this proposition does not require that the government must obtain consent or permission from each individual person before exerting governmental authority over that person. Such an idea is nonsense. <laughs> You hear that, softards? Your arguments are quite worthless. And would result not in a constitutional republic, but in anarchy. This defendant's views would render all the criminal laws null and void, which is legally and practically absurd. Therefore, any relief sought by this notice is also denied. All right. So, Ms. Christensen, uh, all of the claims and papers that you have filed I have found to be lacking in legal and factual merit, and I have denied any such relief. 
and I'm entering a That's fine. Of- Can you please stop referring to me as a defendant. And I guess the next step will be, I guess I got to do the actual filing of the claims if you're going to deny all of those. No, those, I don't know what claims you're talking about. You filed some claims or, or notices or requests. No, I what did not mean? even file my claims yet. I did notices. I did not file my claims yet. I've been putting that off because I really don't want to have to file claims and ruin people's lives and ruin their jobs because they're not upholding my constitutional rights as a woman, not a defendant. I am a woman only. I woman Angela. I woman Angela. I woman Angela. That's it. Not defendant. I'm not a defendant. Well, you are. Yeah, just keep repeating yourself over and over again like a broken record. I'm sure that'll work with the judge. Not. And, uh, okay, in your to... opinion and legalese, yes, but I am a woman. So do we need to do trial by jury when we can do my claims and file my court with your court at the same time? Because that's oh. going to be my next step to file claims against everybody involved in this case. Because there is no verified claim and complaints and claims are two different things. I don't want to file claims. I'm trying very hard and I've been trying hard to not do that. But I guess if we got to keep going, that's my next step. And I will file proper claims with the proper people and the insurance team for the bonding. So I don't know what you want to do at this point. I really don't want to have to do that. Yeah. Threatening the judge with the lien. Yeah, sure. That's going to work. Kristen, I, I got to tell you, I don't know what in the heck you're talking about. You're, you're talking I know. nonsense. Well, Your Honor, the reason why it doesn't make any sense is because you haven't had the opportunity to attend the prestigious YouTube Law University. It's all the rage these days. You really should try and visit the campus sometime and go talk to the Dean Chile de Castro. So, so here, here's the thing. I am not going to relinquish my authority in this case. I'm not. All right. The prosecutor's office can dismiss the case. They're choosing not to. So that means we do have to go forward to a jury trial unless you want to plead guilty. All right. But what I'm I'm also going to do is your your ramblings here today and at previous hearings. And after I reviewed your written notices, it's clear to me that you have no concept of the legal and factual issues at stake. And I would no never know anything answer. about legal ease because I never went to school to do the legal ease. So I don't understand that part. All right, you're illustrating my next point. And you have no respect for the authority of the court. You continue to interrupt me and such and file these nonsense claims. So I am hereby withdrawing my consent for you to represent yourself. I'm referring this matter to the Office of Assigned Counsel for Appointment. So any papers you file in this case, I will reject because they have to be filed. Well, I don't accept that offer and I do not require you to give me any court appointed attorney and I will self govern because that is my right. A soft heart, it is clear that you need all the help you can get. And the judge in this case is really trying to help you out. You don't have to pay for an attorney. One will be provided to you if you are indigent. I don't want an attorney. I don't do legalese. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I'm trying to be very decent. Well, I stand on my paperwork and I'll do the rest of my paperwork. I will keep doing it and now I'm going to file my claims. So that's fine. But no, I don't need no legal counsel. I refuse that offer. I do not accept that offer. I'm sorry. With all due respect to you, I, I don't accept that. Well, now, uh, it's not a matter of uh, accepting it. It is a judge's order. It is not a request. You are going to take the lawyer because the judge is trying to be proactive in avoiding a whole shit show because of your incompetence. Well, Ms. Christensen, it wasn't an offer. So we are scheduling this next for a docket call on February 14th at 10.30 in the morning. And that, and I'll refer it to the Office of Assigned Counsel for you to have an attorney at that hearing. You are no longer allowed to represent yourself in this matter, and you will be in person in my courtroom at that date and time. I'm sorry, but I cannot be there. I can do it via Zoom, and I don't accept that offer either unless you want to compensate me for my gas and my time. Right. 
because I can't Ms. do Ms. that. I can't even afford to. Sorry. Ms. Christensen, it's not an offer. I want to have you here because you've expressed such dis disregard for the proceedings. I want to have you here okay. so you can meet your attorney. Ms. Christensen, what? stop interrupting me. It's not an offer. You will be here or I will issue a warrant for your arrest if you refuse to attend in person. All right. We'll see you February 14th or I'll issue a warrant for your arrest. You have a good day. You have a nice day. All right, we will be in recess until 11 a.m. for a settlement. And that, my friends, is how you deal with the sovereign citizen. You don't mess around with them. You don't pander to them. You just tell them how it is. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.